Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am coming to you from a very special place and this is my primary school in which I was able to vote. So I'm not sure if I can record this but let me give it a try. Um, a lot of people are coming to give their vo vote and you have one place right here another place it's a big traffic right behind me that's where i was and this is my primary school so quite symbolic place for me to be participating in this election for the very first time in my life i'm telling you no coincidence here um, as you know i gave my voice my vote to and my voice too, to Maciej Maciak. But I gave my vote to um, Ruch Dobrobytu i Pokoju. Let me see if this is open here. No, it's all closed, so we go outside. Okay, anyway, it's list number nine. The whole process was very easy. There was no, no stress. They just asked for the certificate for this document that was requ required for me to vote. Uh, and then, of course, they checked my PESEL number, which is like my identification number from my passport. So I was able to vote in this region, in this oblast, if you could say that, which in Polish we call Zachodniopomorskie. Szczecin is the biggest city in this region. We had several candidates that were participating here to be in parliament and I voted for the candidate on number six, Łukasz Świdoń. I think I pronounced his name correctly. I think this is his last name. So if you're watching Mr. Łukasz, keep on going. I have absolutely no doubt that we will, we will have Ruch Dobrobytu i Pokoju, the movement for peace and prosperity, the only one movement in Poland to be in Polish parliament. And the grassroots movement will make a huge impact on this country. It's the people, yes, we the people, and this is really we the people. So guys, I actually have some articles for you today, even though it's Sunday, free-flowing video, but I want to read this to you. And hopefully it's not too windy because it's been very windy before um, I want to give you an information about how soon Poland will have the results announced from this election until I think 9 p.m. today people will be able to vote and I came across the article from unfortunately Soros Money portal which is Rzeczpospolita that says the results of elections are unlikely to be announced on Monday when we will know them. It will be later than usual. That's what this article says. Normally it should be tomorrow, but it looks like, like it's not going to be. Surprise, surprise. Kind of like a replay from other countries, isn't it? Sorry for the noise. There are tramways here, by the way. This is my childhood area, guys. So I know this area. Many voters, after casting their votes, wonder one thing when we will know the results. The law does not specify the deadlines that the PMC must adhere here, to which does not prevent us from predicting them. And it says, from the moment the votes are cast, many people will be eagerly awaiting the results of this year's election, as well as the national referendum organized on the occasion of them. Before I end this article, I want to touch upon the referendum votes because, as you know, there were four questions. Maybe let me tell you now. Law and Justice announced, as you know, some time ago that there will be a referendum and people can answer those four questions um, about if they want this or they don't want that, which everything that was there pretty much, it's already happening, so a little bit too late. And to anyone who is going to vote in Poland, you don't have to vote uh, the referendum. You don't have to take that, that piece of paper and give your vote. You can refuse because it doesn't really make any change, to be honest with you guys. This is what law and justice is already 
has already implemented. So it's just, like I say, it's just a Muppet show. It's just illusion. The first data that will be known after 9 p.m. when the voting in regional commissions across the country, which starts at 7 a.m., they started at 7, at, ends at 9, will be the results of the exit poll. So there will be some information after 9 p.m. and I will post it tomorrow to let you know for sure. Although they are usually very close to reality, it has often happened that the result known the next day was slightly different. Don't we know this? 2020 in United States. Mm -hmm. Therefore, it is not surprising that there is an impatient expectation which most likely will not be satisfied on Monday, the day after the elections, as was the case so far. For example, in the parliamentary elections in 2019, where the final distribution of parliamentary seats was known in the afternoon on Monday. According to the forecasts of experts and the statements of the head of the National Electoral Commission, Sylvester Marciniak, one sec, let me feed the page. It was a smooth move. Sylvester Marciniak, the most optimistic forecasts indicate that the election results will be announced only on Tuesday if the Commission operates efficiently before noon. There are two reasons for this. First of all, we are likely to see a record turnaround and thus a large number of ballots to be counted by members of the, I'm not sure if how you say it, precinct, precinct commissions. Secondly, in a large number of cases, they will have to deal with three ballot papers instead of two for the same and the Senate, because a national referendum is being held at the same time as the elections. I told you this, guys, a few months ago. I don't know if you remember this. I told you they are putting this, those questions, the referendum, to confuse this whole process of voting. I told you this. When I was in Moscow, I recorded a video. I forgot what month it was. June, July, something like that. Yeah. The more votes to count to separate this, that's a mess, no? All this will impose more work and duties on the members of the committee than usual, which should be performed not only efficiently, but above all, reliably. What else I have here? Okay, I will read you this part, not the whole article. You can, you can find it in the link in the description box below the video. If irregularities are found in the results in any of the district commissions, the PMC orders their redetermination. If there are no irregularities or after a possible redetermination of the results in the district commission, the PMC determines the results of the vote on a national scale. I don't think this is going to happen. At the same time, it determines which committees and their lists have met the requirements. For example, they have exceeded the electoral threshold of 5% of the vote for parties and 8% for coalitions in order to be able to participate in the distribution of parliamentary seats. So there you have this. Like I said, the full article, if you are really interested in this, which is quite uh, informative and detailed, you find in the description box down below this video. And I have just one more quick uh, update with this, that according to PMC, six parties will put up candidates in all 41 constituencies. So 41 regions, you have six parties. Ruch Dobrobytu i Pokoju, so the movement that I support for peace and prosperity. I cannot emphasize more peace and prosperity has been in 11 districts. So still good. During the parliamentary elections, 460 deputies and 100, 100 senators will be elected. According to the head of the National Electoral Commission, a total of 40 election committees of political parties two election committees of a coalition of political parties and 43 electoral committees of voters have been registered. 
So that's how this looks like, guys. This is just the beginning. Uh, I'm actually very, I don't want to say proud, but in a way I am, that I came here all the way to vote, to Poland to vote. Never would I thought that many, many years after I finished this uh, primary school, very special place for me, I will be giving my first vote here. And I really believe that when we put the good energy into this and we don't give up, we should never give up on anything we want, we may make a change. We will make a change. If you don't give up, you will make a change. Uh, I want to end this video since it's Sunday and it's free flowing with something very different. Some of you probably know because my spiritual interests are quite wide, widespread. Last night we had the solar eclipse, the rings of fire, they call it. Well, it's a very powerful eclipse. Even NASA was participating with some shenanigans, shooting out some stuff, trying to study or whatever they, they do, this uh, phenomena. I tell you one thing. I'm not an expert in this, but I have some knowledge. During this special eclipse that took place last night, oh, I think the, the dog was wrong. Um, during this eclipse, everything that was meant for evil is reversed. So the person who was putting out evil intentions, who was planning evil things, none of those plans will prosper. None of those plans will succeed. I don't know, maybe this will help some of you, what I'm saying right now. Do not fear, do not worry. We're gonna win this battle with evil in our own individual way. And the best way to do it is to stand with humanity, stand with light, don't give in to fear and do the best that you can in every, every moment. Because it's very easy now for people to get triggered. Like even here, you see there are some arguments. It's very easy, don't get triggered. Be still and know that there is God and God is watching over this. Powerful eclipse yesterday, rings of fire. You know, whoever wants to fly over them, if it's not for good, they're gonna burn big time. So guys, this is the video for today. Tomorrow, I almost forgot, tomorrow I have live stream scheduled with Mr. Larry Johnson. We're gonna talk for sure about Ukraine, but we definitely and first and foremost, I'm going to talk about Israel and Palestine. And I want to ask many questions in regards to the intelligence, special intelligence services, and of course, CIA. So all the links to find me, if you feel like supporting my work, the best way is to become a member of the channel, um, which is like what, $2.99 per month. You can join me on Locals, you can choose to support me there as well. You can buy me a coffee for my trip to China, cannot wait. And follow me on Instagram, join my mailing list just to stay in touch in case. And I send you lots and lots of love. And remember, we are the leading edge and we are saving humanity. Bye everyone.